Good morning, children. Welcome to today's class. Children, in the last class, you have learned about jungle school. What did you learn? You learned about many animals. You learned that it was their annual day and they had to talk about themselves. So, Miss Hodes, she asked each one to describe about themselves. So, Tippy was a frog and it said that it can hop, swim and even make the crock crock sound. Now, Tweety, Tweety was a bird and she said she can fly, she can sing, chirp, chirp. Then, Kitty, Kitty was a cat. It said, it chase mice and make the sound meow meow. Chimpu. Chimpu was a what? Monkey. It can swing on trees, eat bananas and jump. And Miss Hoots congratulated them after describing about themselves. Then the students time was there to play on the playground. And there they discussed with each other what they can do and what they can't. So the frog said it can swim. But the peacock and peacock said it can't. And the duckling said it can. Then the monkey said it can climb the trees. But the elephant what did the elephant say? The elephant said it can't, but the cat said it can. Next, the bird said it can fly. Even the parrot said it can fly, but the giraffe, it said it can't fly. The cat said it can catch or it can chase mice, but others said, other animals said it can't. So, Miss Hoots called them together and asked them to sing. And they sang, that in school, they study and play and make new friends every day. So children, let us do the exercises given in page number 9. So all of you open your page number 9. This is... Page number 9. Tick the correct words to complete the sentences. Okay. The animals are in. So where are the animals children? Are they in the city park or jungle school? Yes, you have to put, tick, put a tick in jungle school. They are in the jungle school. Now turn the page. Tippy can swim and... What is Tippy children? Tippy is a... Frog. So it can swim and croak. Can the frog fly? No. So don't take over there. Tweety third one. Tweety can sing and Tweety is a bird. It can sing and fly. Now next. Fourth one. Kitty can chase mice and Kitty. Kitty is a cat. It can chase mice and Meow. It makes the sound. Meow. Now fifth one, Chimpu. You know it's a monkey. It can swing and jump. It can't fly. So don't put a tick over there. It can swing and jump. Now children, all of you take out your notebook. We will write the question answers. So answer these questions given in page number 10, B. Now children, questions you write down. From the textbook. I am writing here only the answers. So. Take out your notebook. Write first lesson number. Lesson name. And then answer these questions. Write. And then first question. You write. After writing the first question. You will write the answer. Who is Tippy? Now children tell me. Who is Tippy? Yes. 
side ya. Tipi. Was a frog. Who is Tipi? Tipi was a frog. Now, second one. Who likes to eat bananas? Who likes to eat bananas? Chimpu. Who is Chimpu children? You know, who is Chimpu? Chimpu is a monkey. So, right there, answer to Chimpu. Chimpu, the monkey. Liked to eat what bananas so chimpu the monkey like to eat bananas now the third one who likes to chase mice who likes to chase mice children you have learned it who is that yes right there kitty Kitty, K I double T Y. Kitty, the cat, liked to. The kitty, the cat, liked to chase mice. Now, children, again I am discussing who is Tippy? Tippy was a frog. Now, who likes to eat bananas? Chimpu, the monkey, like to eat bananas. Now, who likes to chase mice? Kitty, the cat, like to chase mice. Okay. Now, children, play with words. Write the name of an animal that can. You have to tell me the name of animal that can. First one is swim. We know many animals which can swim, isn't it? You know many animals which can swim. So any one animal's name you have to write there. You can write any animal's name. So first one is swim. You know which animal swims? Which is the animal children? First one, swim. You have learnt this frog. Then Fish, I am writing here, fish, F-I-S-H, fish. Now next one, fly, which animal can fly? You can write any bird's name, isn't it? I am writing here, parrot. Now the third one, hiss, what makes the, or which animal makes the, which animal hisses? Yes, snake. Fourth one, crawl. Which animals crawl? Yes, snakes. Again, you write snake. Which animal hop frog? You can write any animal, but here I have written this animal. Okay. Now next is D. So children, if you can do something. Or if you are asked what you, if you can do or not, how will you answer it? You will say, yes, I can. And if you can't, then what will you answer? No, I can't or no, I cannot. Okay. So, here, next one D, write yes, I can or no, I cannot. Children, look there, this one. This one. This one. You have to do it yourself. Can you sing? If you can sing, you can write there, yes, I can. And if you can't sing, you have to write there, no, I cannot. Can you count up to 100? Can you count up to 100? If you can count, you will write there, yes, I can. can. 
And if you cannot, you will write there, no, I cannot. Can you fly a kite? You have to do this yourself. Can you ride a bicycle? Can you play football? Okay, you do it yourself. The next one is match the animals with their young ones. Who are young ones? Children, babies, isn't it? The animal babies are their young ones. So, first one is deer. First one is deer. It is already matched with fawn. You can see there in the picture. This is the deer's young one. Deer, young one. What is it? Fawn. Now, next one. Cow. Cow's young one is Yes, calf. C-A-L-F. Cow. Young one is calf. Now next one, duck. You already know it. What is it? Duckling. Duck is duckling. Now next one, fourth one. Lion. Yes, cup. Lion. Cup. And the fifth one, cat, kitten, cat, kitten. Okay, so dear young one is fawn, cow young one is calf, duck young one is duckling, lion young one is cup and cat young one is kitten. Okay, now next one children, look at the pictures and fill in the missing letters to make words. So children, you have to do that yourself. You have to do the next one yourself. So, you have to look here, pictures given here with clues and you have to fill up this one. This is your homework. Okay, now turn the page. Now children, dash sky. So what will you write there? You can write the blue sky. Isn't it? Dash leaf. Green leaf. Now dash hair. What will you write? Black hair. Dash rose. It is already given here. Some words are given there. Long, red, tiny, tall. So first one. Dash rose. What will be the answer? Red rose. You can look at the color of the rose there. Now second one. Dash train. The trains are usually very long. So right here. Long train. Now the third one. Dash trees. Yes. Tall trees. And the last one. Dash Ant. Ants are very tiny. Tiny means very small. Okay. Tiny means very small. So, red rose, long train, tall trees, tiny ant. Okay. Now, next one. Fill in the blanks with correct words from the brackets. So, you have to look at the words given in the brackets and then do the next one. So, first one, zebras have dash strips. Then, what color strips children? Black and white. So, first one, first one, right there. Here, white is not given, so you will write there, black. Now, the second one. Monkeys have dash tails, white. Or long? Yes, answer will be long. Now third one. Elephants have dash ears. Tall or big? What it will be? Big ears. We don't say tall ears, okay? We say big ears. Now fourth one. Rabbits have dash fur. Fur means hair of their body. Okay, they have very... Curly. Curly means round. And soft means sponge. Isn't a soft type. Now, what are the rabbits? How are the rabbits for very soft? 
Now next one, fifth one. Parakeets have dash beaks. What type of beaks they have? Curved. Okay. Curved beaks. So, zebras have black strips. Monkeys have long tails. Elephants have big ears. Rabbits have soft fur. And parakeets have curved beaks. Okay. Now, next one, children. <coughs> Now, any three things that you can do and any three things that you cannot do, you have to tell your family members in English. Okay, you can say, I can fly a kite, I can touch my hair, anything you can say. But, any three sentence, you will tell your mother, father, grandfather, grandmother or your sister or brother at home, you will tell them. What you can do, any three things and what you cannot do. Other three things which you cannot do. I cannot touch the sky, isn't it? Now same way, what you cannot do, you will not like this. Anything you can say which you cannot do. Okay, you will talk to your family members. Okay, now next one is think and write. Number the sentence in the correct order. Look at the picture there children. What is given in the picture? You can see the animals on the seesaw. Isn't it? So first one is already given. Tippy plays on the seesaw. Tippy plays on the seesaw. So Tippy is sitting alone. Then who came children? Chimpu. Two. Second one is Chimpu joins Tippy. See here Chimpu sitting there. Now next. Kitty sees Tippu and Chimpy. This is the third one. So Kitty is seeing them. They are sitting on the seesaw. So this is three. And last one Kitty joins Tippy and Chimpu. So Kitty joined them. And then they sat on the seesaw. Okay. Now next one is fun time. Color the boxes for what each one can do. Children, this is a box. This is an activity box. This is your homework. Let us look at the words here. Sing, cook, draw, drive, write. Okay, these are the words given here. Now, if your mummy can sing, then you will color this box. And if your papa can sing, you will color the box. And if you can sing, you will color it. But if you cannot, don't color. Same way, if your mommy can cook, you would color it. And if she cannot, you don't color. And if your papa can cook, you will color it. And if he can't, don't color. Like this, you will do this one. Okay? Now, today, you will learn another poem. You will learn a poem on books. So, children, what type of books do you read? You read different kinds of books. Story books. Books of various people. Autobiography. Same way you have your class textbook. Isn't it? Lots and lots of books. So today we will learn a poem. So look here children. Books. I like books. I really do. Now... Who is here in the picture? Girl is reading a book. She is saying, I like books. I really like book. I really do. I love books. Books with stories and pictures too. And if the book is full of pictures and stories, I read it very nicely. I love them. Books of birds and things that grow. Even about the nature, the birds. The plants, the trees, the same book also I love to read. Books of people we should know and even about the people whom we should know. Like our, like you know about Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi ji. Same way, many books about whom we should know, we should read. Even this girl like that, books. 
books of animals and places too and there are books of animals and even places also so that books also like to read i like books i really do i love books i like to read so what did you understand from this poem children there are lots and lots of books that is good for our reading we should read it we should know about people we should know about place and we should know about birds our nature the things isn't it so you should always read books okay again i am reading put your finger on it i like books i really do books with stories and pictures too books of birds and things that grow books of people we should know books of animals and places too i like books i really do so children you will read this poem three times and then sign it now turn the page come to page number 16 now children look here which books do you have now here see here look here some books are given here so whichever book you have you have to put tick books with stories if you have books with stories you put a tick if you don't have no need of ticking or put a cross second one books without pictures you have any books without pictures put a tick next one books about things if you have any books about things then you put a tick a next one which books do you like to read now here some books are given whichever books you like to read you put a tick books with pictures books without pictures books with about things story books now next one is children here fun time choose the correct names and number the pictures so children you look here this is bean stalk it is going towards the sky it is the story of jack and the bean stalk so here is the number given one now next one is see here you can see the rabbit and the lion so it will be number 2 the clever rabbit and this you can see hen so the little red hen where the little red hen teaches about the importance of being of working hard okay so this is number 3 the stories i will tell you later okay children so today's class you have done the exercises so i told you page number page number 10 d is your homework same way page number 11 spell it right f is your homework one time l i have given you as homework and page number 16 a and b is your homework you have to do in your textbook only only write the question answers in your notebook okay children okay thank you and meet you in my next class